Hello, my name is Dan Morrill. I'm the owner of Midwest Bus Corporation. We're located in a small town of Owasso, Michigan, about 85 miles northwest of Detroit. Midwest Bus Corporation started in 1980, and we have been remanufacturing city transit buses for the U.S. transit industry since that time. Bus remanufacturing is a concept that has been around since I began in the transit industry in 1971. Uh, it has been used successfully by many transit operators over the years to extend the life and achieve a cost-effective solution to minimizing the annual cost of bus operations while at the same time ensuring reliability and uh, top performance on the part of their fleet in achieving uh, vehicles that operate in revenue service without interruption. We pride ourselves on the ability to restore a customer's fleet uh, with an extensive program of reconditioning all of the operating systems on a vehicle, including the structure, brakes, steering, suspension, air conditioning, electrical, interior and exterior which are bringing buses back to a like new condition for far less than half the cost of a new vehicle today. We've shown over the years with documented statistics on mean distance between failures that our remanufactured bus rivals or exceeds the reliability characteristics of new bus purchases. If you consider the fact that transit vehicles are extended in terms of their useful life. This is keeping tons of solid waste out of our landfills. Uh, at the same time, remanufacturing programs allow the transit operator to incorporate environmentally friendly uh, upgrades to their vehicles, which will reduce emissions, reduce fuel consumption, improve fuel economy, and overall it is a truly green technology that you are implementing as a part of your overall fleet management program. Midwest Bus has, a, as a part of its remanufacturing program, the ability to offer enhanced uh, upgrades to the uh, technology that may have been a part of the bus when it was originally manufactured 8, 10, or 12 years earlier. These include uh, upgrading the cooling system, taking out the uh, hydraulic cooling, replacing it with electrical cooling, which has the benefit of improving fuel economy, which means fewer pollutants into the atmosphere. We've also made a number of modifications of air conditioning systems to remove the old R22 systems and upgrade those to the newer Freon systems available from various uh, air conditioning manufacturers today. One of the other major advantages of a bus remanufacturing program is the time frame for having these projects completed. Typically Midwest is able to begin shipping buses back to our customers within four months after notice to proceed. This compares very favorably with some of the lead times many of our customers are experiencing with receiving new vehicles. Ultimately, the judge of whether or not a fleet is uh, up to par is going to be evaluated by the riding public. Our experience has shown that remanufactured buses placed back into revenue service, even after they've operated for 12 years, have shown from the customer standpoint the experience of the transit rider is no different in a remanufactured bus than in a new vehicle. My name is Ed Benning. I'm the general manager, CEO of the Mass Transportation Authority, a public transportation provider serving the Genesee County community. My background in public transportation dates back to 1980, some 35 years now in the industry. We pride ourselves on the fact that we never compromise safety or performance and that we take great pride in the fact that we have buses on the street today that unless we tell people how old they are, they have no idea. They perform, look, and, and operate 
at a level that would be hard to determine the age of the vehicle and uh, they live right up to our expectations if we had bought a new vehicle and put it on the street. Our oldest buses today on the street are uh, will be 33 years old this year and we also have a fleet of 26 year old vehicles that we operate every day. The experience that we have had with remanufactured buses, we have we operate with perhaps one of the lowest ratios of mechanics to, to vehicles of a system of our size, at least in the state of Michigan and perhaps in the country. And we have had no negative impact, uh, but we've been able to uh, minimize our cost of maintaining the vehicles in the, uh, in the workforce we employ. The uh, Mass Transportation Authority's experience in, in remanufacturing dates back into the 1980s. Just recently had additional vehicles that were uh, refurbished or remanufactured and in those particular vehicles it was a second time through. Uh, the Mass Transportation Authority has partnered with Midwest Bus out of Owasso, Michigan for the remanufacture of vehicles and it, it dates now back well over 30 years. It's been an excellent partnership. It's been one that uh, we learned a lot along the way, but uh, one of the things we preserved is that we have been able to maintain an excellent fleet of vehicles at an extremely low cost uh, to the community while providing uh, extremely uh, good transportation in our community and to the public on the street and individuals that look at our vehicles, they have no idea how old the vehicles are. Many of them are surprised and cannot believe uh, the fact that we're operating these vehicles now well over 30 years old. Our experience working with the uh, Midwest Bus as an organization and the staff has been uh, extremely, uh, it's been excellent. It's been a great relationship. We have been able to work through the variety of, of uh, issues and things we've learned along the way. And uh, we've built an extreme, uh, extremely strong uh, trust in, in that relationship. And it's helped this organization, it's helped this community, it's moved public transportation forward.